much fun with the audience since I was Miss America, which is a few years ago, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 now, that's a little April Fool's joke. I was only kidding. Actually, I was not Miss America. I was a runner-up in Miss America, okay? That, <laughs> Have you seen Marion Mobley naked? <laughs> actually, actually, I was Miss New York State. Will you buy that? I was Miss Larchmont. Will you buy that? I was not. Right, let me tell you what I was. I was runner up. This is the truth. In the Miss Larchmont contest, I came in second. Now, we are going to start the show by meeting our two new contestants because yesterday somebody went off with a car. When we start with the lady, this is Jacqueline Side. Right? Hi. Yeah. Jacqueline, tell the story something about yourself. Not too much, but something. Thank you. I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama. I come from a family of seven girls, and I now live oh. with my husband and my three-year-old son, Ryan. Very nice. Uh, and our gentleman is Jim Carciola, and will you tell the story something about yourself, Jim? Thanks, Jim. Uh, I was originally born in Virginia Beach. I live out here in California now doing sales during the day and work in a famous nightclub at night. Doing what? Uh, waitering right now. Okay, but with those eyes, you get big tips. Anyhow, they <laughs> from both sexes. <laughs> <laughs> and so are you. All right. <laughs> The object of our game, as you know, is to win tic-tac-toe. You can win three squares across, down, diagonal, or to win the most squares that you can, okay? Whoever wins the most money at the end of the show, for those of you who have not seen this before, will have a chance to drive away in a Toyota. <laughs> now, we toss the coin backstage, and Jacqueline is going to start, okay? So, pick a square. John Davidson, please. Good oh! the weirdest feeling I've had in two years. I'll tell you, big over here. <laughs> I understand you're going out in Music Man this summer. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be playing Harold Hill in Music Man. It's a national tour all over the country. We're going, uh, we're going to Buffalo, New York, then to Cleveland, uh, then to Pittsburgh, Oklahoma City, about 14 cities, actually. Uh, Houston, San Antonio, Thank Sacramento. John. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a great tour. Yeah. Cork it, John. <laughs> Jim Jay, I would probably say your hair looks great, too. It's a little bit too much spray, but it looks great. <laughs> it looks great. It does. I just used what was in your dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Ask me a question. Ask me anything. Now, John, now comes the moment of truth. Yes, I know everything. We have the answer here. What? <laughs> Do you have it? Try me, try me. Give me a chance. Pull me a coach. Yes. According to a USA, and this is also for you, Jackie, okay? According to a USA Today poll among married couples, uh -huh. do most couples look upon sex as a chore? I think that <laughs> most Americans probably would say that it is not a chore. If it's a chore, you're doing it the wrong way. You are saying no. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying no. That's not Jackie, right. do you agree I with I disagree. Him? You think it is? I think most yeah. Americans think it is a chore. Jackie, yeah. you're wrong. We've got to get you somebody really hot. <laughs> just gotten yourself an ex. And are we going to continue, Jim? Uh, yeah. With Ann, whom? Ann Mira, please. Ann Mira. Uh, oh, friends. <laughs> Annie. Yes, it's looking Johnny. great with your hair, by the way. Thank you. I can't move it. <laughs> it's okay. Meet the crowd. Uh, we all have our own way of eating spaghetti. I've seen you very often in a restaurant, but how would a Dribble native, <laughs> a native in Italy eat it? Would you use a fork and a spoon or just a fork? Uh, a native in Italy, that would make that person of Italian persuasion. And if he's a real Italian, he'd have his wife feed him, I think. <laughs> no, I think, they, uh, I think the Italian way is uh, the, the twisting it around the fork in the spoon. Fork and the spoon. What do you think, Jim? I disagree. And that is very right. They just use a fork. Italy. Oh, those animals. No, I didn't know that. I'm glad you won, though. Jackie, okay. thank you. This is Josh Otterblock, please. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A macho. Look at dog. To meet my macho, macho Gabor. Oh. Isn't he good? That dog liked his sweater girl. so much he left it deposit. The brightest dog notice? on the world. Okay. Very cute. And you're looking cute. Cute. He's gorgeous. Well, 
And your hair is absolutely perfect, really. And your hair is perfect, and so is his. Now, let's get to the question. <laughs> Ladies' own journal in the dressing room, so I think you're going to know this. According, <laughs> you were reading, I saw the homemaking section. According to the ladies' own journal, which causes most more stress, getting married or getting fired? More stress. Marriage oh. or Well, fired. I love to get married, so that couldn't be it. <laughs> I have never been fired yet in my life. But I would think getting fired is very bad because you lose your income. She says... More stress is caused when you get fired. I'll agree. I'm sorry. It's getting married, believe it or not. You should know that. You I never get any stress. I love to get married. <laughs> yes, now we can't put an X there because that would win the game for you. You've got to earn it yourself, so go ahead. Okay, Princess Zaza, please, to win. Princess Zaza, to win. Okay. <laughs> you have two sisters. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I hope they're not named Anastasia and Drizella because these <laughs> were two mean sisters. How about you think that mine are not? <laughs> <laughs> Who did Anastasia and Drizella belong to? Who they were sisters? the daughters of the last Tsar of Russia. The last Tsar of Russia. I'll disagree. Thank God. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Face, not just Shelby Winters. Okay. <laughs> she also has her moo moo in her lap. But anyway. now, we are now going to do our secret square game, and here is Shadow Stevens to tell us all about the secret square. Ooh, it's a trip to Florida, John. Oh, Yay. boy! You and a guest will fly from Los Angeles to Florida in the comfort and convenience of Continental Airlines full service flight, furnished by Continental Airlines and. You'll enjoy six nights and seven days at the Sheridan Bell Harbor, one of South Florida's finest oceanfront resorts. Luxurious accommodations, acclaimed entertainment, and shopping in a relaxing atmosphere, furnished by Sheridan Bell Harbor. Okay. And let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only, okay? Jackie, we're going to start with you. Pick a square. Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim J. Bullock. Hi, Joan. You're doing wonderfully. This is a good question, because I figured you know a lot about sheep. <laughs> oh, I'm from Texas, where the men are men and sheep are scared. Well... <laughs> but I think you're going to know this one. Do you think it's unusual for a shepherd to tend his flock with his cudgel in his hand? <laughs> How long has he been out there? <laughs> mm. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. No, he says no. No, it would not be unusual. What do you think, Jackie? I'll agree. Good for you. A cudgel is a stick or a rod. Oh. Okay. Jackie got the circle, okay? Jim. Uh, John Davidson, please. John Davidson. Better stand. Looking good, John. John, you're doing a great job. Yeah, it's a lot easier than you make it look. Right. <laughs> John, Carter. You know I'm just kidding. Just ask me a question, would you please? Just... <laughs> okay. Now, here's a good one. <laughs> the questions in this show. All right. <laughs> Since insects don't have noses, this is one we all know, John. How do they smell? Not bad if they use a good deodorant. But not a... How do insects smell? How do insects smell? Yes. Yes. How do you? <laughs> you know when you see a fly go uh, jump on your arm like this, and you see them go like this. If you look at a fly up close like this, yes. They smell through the pads on their feet. Trust me. Through uh, their pads on their feet. Jim, do you want to trust? I disagree. Good for you, Jim. They smell with their antennae. That was a good bluff, though. Jackie. I mean, grass, please. I 
charming girl. Eileen, Joan, 